probably the, one of the, the first times that I realized his following or you know how big he was getting. We went to West Virginia for the first time and played in this little bar. Uh, opener finished up, and they're waiting for John to come out, and they started chanting his last name. Everybody was chanting his name, and just you know, hearing your last name chanted, that's when I realized how big he was getting and what kind of following he had and what kind of fans. I've always been a fan of music, but being uh, a country music singer now is just crazy because I never thought a million years, you know, when I was a little kid that I would ever be where I am. I always thought I was going to be a football coach or something like that, but like being a, a country singer, it's a, it's a different world that, you know, it's cool to it's cool to be out there, travel the whole country, see these amazing fans singing the songs that, that you wrote, and it's just like the greatest feeling ever when you hear them. The way he listens to his fans, and they feel so connected to him. He has a way of making everybody feel special, and that they're important, and I, and I think he genuinely does. I don't think he puts on a show. I think he really appreciates and his fans and their stories, and the music was medicine for him, and now he makes music that's medicine for other people and I just love that he has an opportunity to to be a blessing to other people. I'm setting these short-term goals to get me there and to that, that's what keeps me going and driving because I got this goal and I got it in my heart that's what I want to do and there's nothing in this world I want to do than just perform and entertain people and write songs and and make records and stuff and that's what keeps me going is setting goals and uh, doing it for family and doing it, you know, making people proud and making and, and telling my story along the way.